Well, hello there. I'm here to tell you about how to select fruit when you go to the market to buy fruit. So sometimes you see apples, they're like a dollar for five. So you're like, whoa, that's so cheap. Maybe there's something wrong with them. Maybe they're rotten or something. Well, the only way you'll know is if you take a bite and see whether it's rotten or not. So you see, there's like nothing outside. Looks perfectly fine, right? Just like the ones that Snow White eats. Well, you go like this. Mmm. Ugh. No worms inside. This is not good. This is not a good apple. So you know why it's not a good apple? You want to pick the ones with worms inside because worms pick the best apples. They have senses that we don't have. So. Well, what about oranges, you might ask? Oranges usually sell a dollar for five kilograms of oranges. They sell them in boxes. So only buy those ones. Well, right now, I have a sample here. And we'll just look over here. Yep. So there's one of the orange oranges that we got at the Kins Farm Market. When you buy an orange, make sure you look at these lines. These these are what we call um, zebra lines. These lines show how the their level of um, sweetness. So if you just count one, two, three, four, five, there's five layers here. Spin it around. Yep, yeah. five layers. Make sure you're counting it right. This is a top-notch orange. So. You know how people like to peel oranges, right? They like to peel it, just cut it, and then cut it into four, and then peel it. Well, this is not what you do with the, the best ideal orange to eat. So, what you have to do is um, find the belly button, which is right here, belly button. And you just stick your finger inside, and, and then you smell your finger. Mmm, mmm, it smells very sweet. So we're sure this is a sweet orange. And yeah, so what do you think is inside a sweet orange? Is it mm, sweet, juicy, uh, akai akai? No, you might not. It might not be like that. So why not we look? So to eat a sweet orange, you must stick your finger at the top and then pull up quickly. That's the easiest way to unpeel an orange. It's not like what they use, the knife. You don't use knife. You just pull up quickly. So, just demonstrate. One, two, three. Oh, alright. So, there you have it. We unpeeled the orange. You can scrap the orange peel now. And inside the orange, this is in its most natural state when it's still alive. You see, it's still moving around in my hand. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. So what you want to do is put this in boiling water just for two minutes and then um, it'll be ready to eat. So I'm just gonna put it in the, well, because we don't have two minutes, so I'm gonna go over there and pick up one that we already did, that we, we already made, all right? All right, so let me just put it there. See? All right, I'll put this in the microwave. All right, and ah, here's here's the one that's finished. So after you microwave it, it should look something like this. You see, it's a little bit more dry, and it's not moving anymore. You see, I'm not touching it. And when you look on my hand, it's not moving around anymore because it's been cooked. All right. So, you gotta still take off the label because when you put it in the microwave, it automatically tags it for you. You see? So, you gotta remove that because this part is not edible. It's actually poisonous. So, scrap that, put it with the orange peel. And it gives it this rough texture at the front um, when you microwave it because the radiations, they carve off. If you microwave a little bit too much, it carves off a little bit of the orange. Mmm, 
It's still good though. So right now we're going to enjoy this perfectly peeled five star, five layer orange with microwave. Mm. This is good stuff. Yeah. So next time you buy an orange, remember, buy this kind of orange, okay? And do a video response and tell me how it worked out for you, okay? Oh, this is so sweet. Bye.